What's up guys, it's Arib CS here, and right now we're going to be creating a virtual machine in Proxmox on our distributed Ceph storage pool, right? So that way we have the uh, potential, the high availability redundancy, right? Because of the distributed nature of, uh, of Ceph, assuming we've done it right. Uh, so we saw in my previous video, I should give you an example of how to create a Ceph pool. Now I'm going to show you how we can create a VM on that Ceph pool here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just go to whatever uh, one of your um, nodes that you want to create on and click on create VM. I type VH02, VM ID 100, and calling it a Reeb Ceph test. Click on next. Uh, choose an ISO image uh, if you want uh, to boot it from. Uh, in my case here, you just uh, click the drop down under storage and you can click on a Reeb Ceph pool. That's uh, the Ceph pool that I'm going to install the VM onto. You click on next. Assign the amount of CPU, um, how much memory you want to have, uh, the network you want, if it's different from the default, and click on finish. So, guys, that's really all there is to it. It does look pretty simple. Uh, I just want to point out the fact that at this point, there is no HA enabled um, on this VM. Okay, so it even says, if you look here, it says HA state none. Um, that's because by default, nothing is high availability in Proxmox. Now we have the potential though, right? Because we do have distributed Ceph storage. So that's something we can do. And I will show you guys in the next video how that works. Okay, and there's a bunch of stuff you have to consider when we have HA and some caveats I will talk about in the next video, guys. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.